Hello! This brief tutorial will teach you how to use a web query to import data from a website into an Excel spreadsheet. This is perfect for a student of any level or discipline who wants to save time and effort in getting data available on the web into Excel. I will also show you how importing data in this way sets up a dynamic connection between your spreadsheet and the website so that the information in your spreadsheet can stay up to date. Let's begin. Start by opening the Excel program. Mine is on the taskbar at the bottom of my desktop. I'm choosing a new blank worksheet. Next, click on the cell where you would like to import your information. I'm going to choose cell A1. On the ribbon, choose the Data tab, which is already open. Click on Get External Data. Click on From Web. A new web query box dialog box opens up. While it looks like a regular browser window, you may notice something different about this one. Little yellow boxes with arrows. These indicate data that can be inserted into your spreadsheet with the web query. Next, I want to find a website that has data I'd like to import. I want a list of international cities with current times in their respective time zones. To do this, I'm going to go to a site called Time and Date. Open a browser. I'm going to type Time and Date into the search box. This is the site that I want. On the black bar, I'm hovering over World Clock and choosing to click on Main World Clock. Now that I'm on the right page, I'm going to copy the URL in the address bar. Now let's go back to the Web Query dialog box and paste the URL into the address bar. Click Go. Here is the website page we want within the Web Query box. I am clicking on the little yellow arrow box to the left of this table of cities with their current times to import it into my spreadsheet. Next, click Import. An Import Data dialog box pops up. You can choose the range in the spreadsheet set cell where you'd like to import your data to, or you can import it into a different worksheet. I'm going to stick with the cell we originally highlighted in the spreadsheet, cell A1. Click OK. This may take a few moments. And now the data from the website has populated the spreadsheet. You might ask, why shouldn't I just copy and paste or tape, type in by hand the same information? Well, there are a couple of reasons why it's preferable to use the web query function to do this. One is that it saves you time and assures accuracy if you are downloading the information directly, instead of entering it by hand. But there is another important reason why people use the web query option. It automatically links the data on the website and the data in your spreadsheet, so that if or when the website information changes, it will also update in your Excel spreadsheet. This is especially important if the data you are importing needs to be up to date to be relevant. Let's look at, this, at modifying this information updating feature. Still in the Data tab, click on Properties in the Connection group. The External Data Range Properties dialog box opens. 
I have some choices about how frequently I'd like my information to update. I can specify that I would like it to update every 15 minutes. Clicking here. Or I could choose to refresh data when opening the file. But you can see proof of this feature by returning to the spreadsheet and clicking the Refresh button. Click on the X button on the External Data Range Properties dialog box. Now, click on the Refresh All button in the Connections group. And now you can see that the information has updated. In this tutorial, I have shown you how to import information from a website into an Excel spreadsheet. I have also demonstrated how you can take advantage of the data updating feature of the web query. Whether you have time-sensitive data that you want that you need to stay current, or if you have several spreadsheets with imported information and you don't want to have to check back on the source of your information periodically to see if anything has changed, you can let the web query function in Excel do the updating for you. Thanks for watching.